Good morning from a rainy Tokyo. Today is a busy day because I have a few doctor's appointments. I need to do something for my bank. There's a huge sale, so I'm gonna buy a lot of lifestyle goods. So I'm gonna take you along and just show you what a very typical day is like here in Japan. Let's go. My breakfast is a little out of the usual today. It's croissants from a supermarket I really love. It's called Picard and they sell lots of French frozen goods. And this is just like my little treat. I wanted to treat myself and I am addicted. These are like little mini ones. Mm. And I'm also drinking it with one of my favorite Japanese teas. It's not actually green tea. It's a black tea from a brand called Lupicia and it is so tasty. I am so addicted. Ugh. Actually, the other day, around the same time, it's about 9.30 at the moment, there was an earthquake uh, in the morning and all of our phones went off and it was beeping and I was like, oh my gosh. Well, actually, I didn't react like that. I just went to open the door. That's my first like knee-jerk reaction because you don't want to be stuck inside or if you're in the toilet, open the door. So I opened it, but it was fine. Uh, but I'm a little scared. Scary times. It's also currently the beginning of Sakura season, so all the morning TV shows are reporting at what stage we're in because when they start blooming, there's like early blooming, mid bloom, and then full bloom, and then when the Sakura petals like are flying off, basically like blowing. It's like called Fubuki, I think. Yeah, it's still another week or so away. It's really late this year. This year I actually have a sakura plant. It was gifted to me and it bloomed literally the day after I received it and it's so beautiful and I think it looks really cute in this little um vase that I have. I got this at Kawagoya a few years back. Isn't this cool? I love it so much and it just sits at my desk. It motivates me to work hard and then I also want to show you have a kokedama which I got for paying my Japanese taxes the furusato noze but it was dying so I cut off all the dead parts because I travel a lot I couldn't keep them alive and now I'm trying to bring them back to life if you have tips let me know <laughs> but now it looks really good you couldn't it looked really bad before <laughs> On a rainy day like today, I like to put on some like video game music and it also happens to be like a rainy themed one. That's how I usually start my day. I listen to a lot of this kind of stuff. <laughs> so recently I went and filmed a sponsored video for my channel and I have the first draft back from my lovely editor, Taylor. So I'm gonna check that this morning. And I also have a few TC tasks that I need to get done. So there's quite a bit I need to work on before going outside. Because this week I also have the tour that I'm doing with Tokyo Creative and there's a few last minute things that need to be prepped as well as I'm going on a business trip at the end of this week. I'm going to Nara as well as Kyoto and I need to write all of that information like talking points and script and research locations. Um, so there's actually a lot of stuff that needs to get done and I'm running out of time. <laughs> Okay, so recently I've had the worst allergies ever and I never get allergies and so I went to a clinic to get tested and I got the results back. I took a blood test and they're all on here and it's fascinating. I love having this insight. It tells me about food allergies as well as pollen and animals. I actually have a tiny intolerance to beef. I didn't know that at all, but everything else like milk, dairy, seafood is all okay. But it's interesting because I used to have an intolerance to like bananas as well as uh, seafood, crustaceans, but rice is okay, soybeans, peanuts, wheat. I was worried I was gluten-free because I had some digestion problems. But then when I come down to the pollen section, I had the worst sugi allergy. It was off the charts. It's 130. Like the other ones on here, which are still in the red zone, are 3.3. Apparently this is a thing you develop after living in Japan for a long time. I've been here for five years in the spring and it finally hit me. So I didn't believe it because I had other friends who were like, oh, don't worry, it'll be your turn soon. And it came. If you have any allergies or you suspect you might, I highly recommend doing this because it gives you such like a peace of mind. Um, because I was literally sneezing, I had the runniest nose, I couldn't breathe well, and it was very overwhelming and kind of scary being in a country where like this isn't my home and my native language. But yeah, so this feels really good to know. But yeah, for the test, I think I paid like 8,000 yen. And then on top of that, I paid like 3,000 yen for the medicine. So in total, it was about like 11,000 yen. But that was with the 30% of the medical like health insurance covering it 
Here's me putting my makeup on and getting ready to go out. I don't do anything special, it's very, very speedy. And I sung along to Dua Lipa while doing it. My makeup is done and I'm good to go out. Although I do need to wear a few more layers and it stopped raining, so lucky me. I ended up staying a bit later and working longer, but it had to be done. It had to be done because I have all these work trips. I need to get everything done before that. It was still raining when I left and when I hit up the Convenia, I saw a Kafun Shore sign. Yes, it is in full hay fever season. I picked up my go-to hot water. Don't judge me. As well as checking out some of the Sakura specialties, they had a bunch as well as mugwort, which was one of the allergies I had. So I was like, I see it in the wild. But they also had just, you know, regular daifuku as well as a Splatoon themed one. And on the train headed to Shibuya, it's not too crowded, thankfully. As soon as I got out of Shibuya Station, they were doing a marketing campaign for a new drink from Kirin. And I thought it was going to be like your cult, but it's actually like a really big bottle. And it was cool because you go up to the vending machine, you push it and it comes out. So that is the best marketing campaign. I love that idea. So I'm going to try it. Ooh, it's like yogurt. Oh, it's yogurt flavored. And I think it helps if you're really tired because there's like allergies, as I was saying here, and a lot of people are kind of feeling it. So yeah. Mm. It's quite big though. <laughs> I would have preferred it as a shot, but it's free and I can't complain. It'll probably be about two dollars usually. Mm. The more I'm drinking this, it kind of reminds me of Pakari sweat. That's what it is. It's essentially like Pakari sweat, but like a little more yogurty. But yeah, there's so many people lining up. That was cool. So yeah, there it is. All the vending machines. <laughs> It's still raining a fair bit here, but I actually love Shibuya in the rain because everyone's got their umbrellas out and it looks so fun, especially if you get a view from above. And this girl in front of me, she has like one of those holographic, um, holographic style umbrellas, which I really want, but I don't want to pay 20 bucks for it. But I'm actually headed to have lunch, a really late lunch before my doctor's appointment at Superstock. It's like my go-to cozy food, especially when I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, yeah, and it's, I've never been to this location, but it's just across the road. Yeah, I love Shibuya in the rain. Yeah, it just looks so good, and it's not raining too heavy. Plus, I have my a little bucket hat, so I don't even feel the rain. <laughs> I'm inside Mark City, which I actually never come to for some reason. I come here just to get a view of Shibuya, or maybe catch a train, because this goes to like Shimokitazawa and all that, but yeah. Apparently, it's on the fourth floor. I'll show you guys the view because I'm going past it. I had no idea, but it seems like there's actually lots of restaurants and cafes up here. And it's even like a really nice French bakery, which I may check out after. And oh my God, there's the longest line for soup stock. That sucks. Everyone loves soup stock. Everything is here. I got a sweet potato and corn, I think it was soup, as well as a minestrone. Minestrone? Minestrone? Minestrone, I think is what they say in Japanese. But this one's completely vegan and this one has dairy in it, so it's not vegan. But they have lots of dietary options here, so I really like it. And every time I come, the soups change. Last time I was here was like only like a week or two weeks ago, and they had this pumpkin soup, and it's so good, or onion soup. Anyway, I'm gonna dig in. This is so good. Like, there's not that many healthy options to eat out in Tokyo, but this is one of my go-tos. Mm. It's also relatively well priced, so for two soups as well as a piece of bread on the side, it's only 1,100 yen. So yeah, totally within budget. And the name is Soup Stop Tokyo, but you'd think it'd be like international, but it's no, it's like literally a local, it's literally a local Japanese um, chain. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I haven't had this um, sweet potato one before. Oh, well, that's really yummy. Oh my god, I really like the creamy soups. It's like a little bit sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet. And the thing is, I make a lot of soups at home, but they're never this smooth. And they're really like so smooth. Their blender must be like so good. Mine is so, mine are always so chunky. Also, this was the first time I knew that in Japan they offered rice with soup. Obviously growing up, I'd always have bread with my soup, but here they have rice and it actually goes quite well with the um, soups. I think it's like slightly different. They've got like some sesame seeds in it, so it feels like more suited but it's definitely the more filling option. So if you're really hungry, go for the rice. 
After finishing off the soup, I actually headed to Beams Japan, which is a store I really like, and they sell a lot of Japanese items. And I was just window shopping because I had a bit more time before my doctor's appointment. And highly, highly recommend checking it out. It's great for souvenirs, lots of traditional Japanese things, and they're also changing every season. It's just a really fun place to look around if you have the budget. It's a little pricey. I just finished my doctor's appointment and it went really, really well. I was surprised because usually I have terrible experiences here in Japan. But number one, it was a female doctor, which is rare. And then number two, she spoke English, like fluently. And that was not pre-organized. It just happened to be a really talented lady and she was really sweet. And usually they rush you out really fast, but she just sat there and listened to all my questions, answered everything. And uh, basically I have intense allergies is what she told me. So every year it's gonna suck. So hay fever season for me is not gonna be fun. But uh, I have to keep taking some hay fever tablets, my asthma puffer, and hopefully if my body has a good reaction, she'll reduce the intake of the steroids. <sighs> but now I wanted to go to the bank because I wanted to open a new bank account. <sighs> we'll kind of upgrade my bank account. The, the bank I'm with like had this promotion. And the bank closes at 3 p.m. What is that? 3 p.m.? In Australia, it's always like four or five. So I was like, oh, I've got time. And I'm like, nope, okay. I'm gonna have to do that tomorrow before I go on a business trip. Cause it's kind of urgent. But I guess my plans are now to go to Muji. <sighs> so right back behind me, there were like probably 300 Japanese people lining up. And I asked a bunch and they were like, I was like, why are you waiting? And they're like, oh, I don't know. There's just like a lot of people and maybe someone famous is going to come. So <laughs> it seems a little very Japanese of them. And now they're doing announcements from somewhere else. I've never seen that before. There were so many people waiting outside Parco and Fendi. So it must be a really, really, really famous person. Anyway, Muji is right behind me and I care more about getting 10% off all my stuff than seeing a celebrity. Sorry, famous potentially not famous person. I'm finding lots of cool stuff here and they even have new items like they released some tank tops and I got some travel goods. I'm just going around. It's hard to film because I have so much to carry but slowly getting through the store and I haven't even got to the section I came here for so <laughs> and I love Muji so much. I've actually never really been through all the floors in this store. This is where I got my suitcase once. They have the cutest little cushions here and it's a red panda and I don't think I need this but I have a cushion on my seat that I've been using for like three or four years and it's really dead so I'm thinking to replace it and put this on it <laughs> for my butt. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a spur of the moment thing. It's only like 900 yen so I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay so I've been eyeing this sofa that they released earlier this month or recently and it's kind of cheap for a sofa I think like $200 and it has like a reclining feature and it sits on the floor and I don't really have a chilling space in my room I just have like a desk stool or like work chair and my bed so I'm kind of really tempted to get this but it, it's kind of it's expensive I don't feel like I've really invested that much into furniture before so I don't know what to do there's three colors there's beige pink and green I wish there was a black hmm and apparently the pink is based off Sakura because they released it in the Sakura season. <laughs> it's actually quite comfy. And then if you pull it like this, you can recline it. It's kind of hard. Just pull up and then you pull it up and then you can lie down. I'm a very indecisive shopper. So I sat in this chair at Muji for about 40 minutes and then went home and ordered it online. Yep. So inside this Muji on the second floor they have like a cafe diner and I got myself a rubo tea because I'm so tired <laughs> from shopping and I'm just gonna relax here. And it's nice because I have a view of Shibuya out the window so it's actually a really nice location and you can also order like food they do a lot of tea sugar style food here um, but it's all very very Japanese so a lot of it's like seafood and I can't eat it so just a decaffeinated tea for me. Mm. Ah. I would really like the Muji food if it wasn't so seafood heavy. It's really, it sucks. I actually bought so much stuff. 
I got two of these massive bags full of things. I already spent like $100 as well. Does anyone else get tired by shopping? I always do, so I love sitting down, but I was still hungry and went to go grab some dinner at a place nearby inside Paruko, which was just a short walk, and it's Falafel Brothers. Dinner, I've come to have some falafels, and there's this place called Falafel Brothers in Shibuya. Um, what's this building? Paco, it's Paco. And I've been here a few times, and when it's busy, it's busy, but today it was on the quieter side and it's a really good, it's vegan friendly and they have falafels obviously inside and you have like hummus, veggies and it's so great. This is a half size one but I think it'll be pretty thinning. Thank you, Mama. Oh, so good. I didn't realize how hungry I was. We've also got like this spicy cauliflower. It's like curry spice. And it's also got kale as well. To be honest, I was hungry enough to get the big size, but it was expensive and I regret that because then I went to go eat something else somewhere else. This is crazy, but the falafel didn't fill me up, so I came to Ikea and got plant balls. I know, I just keep eating. I'm so hungry though. Now, in the morning I wasn't hungry, but now I'm super hungry, so something about that time of the month. For 5.50am for all these plant balls and mashed potato and peas. I'm gonna eat these and then I actually have to go home because I took off the rest of the afternoon to not work and do all this stuff and so when I get home I have to work so I'm gonna be working till like midnight I just got back home and showered and I want to show you everything I got from Muji <laughs> I got myself a new cushion I got pillow sheets tank top it was only like 700 yen. Oh, and for the pillow sheet, it was 790 yen. I got a washing net. These are really great and they're good when you travel as well as kind of like sorting bags. These are also great when you travel. I also was curious about Muji's coffee. They, I don't think they had this before. Maybe I didn't notice it. So it's one of these um, drip bags and I'll try it when I'm out traveling and maybe staying at a hotel. Only 90 yen. One of my favorite products from Muji are their coat hangers and I think for five of these wooden ones it was 500 yen so they're only 100 yen each. I also got some of the Muji snacks. I have been looking at this popcorn and eyeing it so I got the popcorn as well as a macadamia nut cookie and a bunch of these salted mixed nuts and the reason I wanted these was because when I travel for business trips we often don't have time to like properly eat so these are really good to just have on the go so I bought maybe like eight of them <laughs> and I also got this Tupperware it was only 200 yen for two of these and I think it would be good for leftovers in the fridge this wasn't the most exciting day but what did you think let me know down below and I'll see you guys in another vlog bye